What is up, my butter biscuits? Y'all, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I sat down and talked to you guys. Um, I kind of took this week off. I only uploaded one video because I needed a little bit of a mental vacation. Um, and it was actually really, really nice just to not upload so much because if you guys follow me, if you guys have your post notifications on, y'all know I normally post at least four to five videos a week. And this week I only uploaded one video. I guess now technically two because this is coming up on Sunday. But that's kind of a little bit for me. But I just felt like I needed a little bit of a break and it was actually very, very nice. However, I still did want to talk about this Trisha pay this news because I was like y'all this is just so messy and so all over the place and I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on it because Whew, it's kind of a roller coaster. So obviously, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about Trisha Paytas and James Charles. Trisha Paytas kind of called him out on TikTok and then he responded to it. And then she went on a big old TikTok rant. She made like a five or six part rant about it on TikTok. And I'm just like, whoa, this is messy. That girl knows how to keep the drama going. I'm sitting over here like, oh my gosh, I feel like she's low key a new drama channel at this point. But anyways, we're going to be talking about that within today's video. I will be playing some of the TikTok clips. I'm not going to be playing them all because... It's just way too much. I feel like that video would be way too long because I think she made six parts of it. Um, it could be even more. And I'm just like, y'all, that's going to be way too much. So I will cut the clips and uh, play some of it for context that you guys can see. And give me your guys' thoughts and opinions on this because I want to know what y'all think because this is just super messy. But anyways, y'all, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up because I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, before we get into the clips of Trisha Paytas on TikTok, this actually all started because she was doing kind of an exposed video on the ace family on tiktok and she did bring up james charles which i'll show you guys in a minute so this actually all started because i'm not sure if you guys saw um the ace family actually uploaded a clip where austin mcroom was yelling at Catherine, his wife and everyone was kind of like outraged about this um so she was just adding on to that by saying these other tiktoks are really really cringy which by the way i saw some of the tiktoks trisha paytas was talking about and i was like this is a little bit cringy she does have a point there where i'm just kind of like oh i don't know how i feel about this it's just a little bit awkward to me personally however within this clip she actually called um james charles out and said that he's narcissistic and he's this and he's that james charles responded to that and said keep my name out of your mouth and she had some things to say about that so i'm gonna go ahead and play a small portion of this first tiktok so where you, where you guys can see that she mentioned uh james charles name his little condescending face in this next clip let me show you basically you guys want austin to be the villain at all times it's okay ew and, I'm villain. and i, I can take it I, this I, I ew oh say that he is officially it. that's so arrogant cocky condescending freaking narcissistic attitude like i've only seen that with him and james charles and it's just like have some humility all right y'all so there you guys heard it from right there that's where she mentioned james charles and somehow he heard about it and responded to the video and they do not um follow each other so i actually found it a little bit ironic and recently trisha paytas had said on the h3 podcast that james charles watches all the drama videos about him and i just have to say i 100 think that is true uh because i don't know if you guys have been on my channel for a long time however when i started doing my cheese thing and i think it was like December of 2019. This could have been January. I don't really remember when. James Charles got a lot of backlash because he actually photoshopped a Louis Vuitton logo LV onto his eye. And his audience was like, what? Don't trick your audience into thinking you did this. This is photoshopped. So I did a video about it, reading some of the comments that uh, people had to say about him. And I was like, you know what? Say what you want about James Charles, but he is fully talented enough to actually recreate this look himself without doing any type of Photoshop. He was just being lazy. And then a couple days after I made my video, Video, he actually redid the makeup look without any Photoshop and did a tutorial of it. And he actually said literally verbatim of some of the things that I said within my video in his video. So I made a follow up video like, hmm, did James Charles respond to me? You know, and ever since then, I was like, wow, he really does watch, you know, drama channels about him, which I find ironic because I feel like a lot of people don't. I feel like people are like they see their name and they keep on scrolling. Honestly, I'm like that, too. I've been mentioned in a couple videos. And if I see my name in the title, I'm like, keep on scrolling. I don't want to see it. But. I just wanted to say that because I found it actually very ironic that this video didn't have a lot of traction. It didn't have a lot of views and James Charles saw it and responded right away. And he said this to James Charles on that video. Keep my name out of your mouth. You do not know me. So this triggered Trisha Paytas to make a five post um, TikTok rant about James Charles. And I'm just kind of like, y'all, this one comment triggered her to go into this full on meltdown. And I'm like, it's really not that deep. I would have re responded something a little bit petty or a little bit snarky. I wouldn't have went on a full five 
post rant about it but i'm gonna go ahead and play some of the clips right now so that way you guys can check it out i'm not going to play all of them what i'm going to do is take bits and pieces from um one through five because she literally has them labeled on her tiktok part one part two part three part four part five and so i'm gonna go ahead and take a little uh, bit and pieces of them so that way you guys can see it if you guys are interested in seeing the full clips head over to her tiktok to check them out but go ahead and check these out right now so this comment was left by james last night on my tiktok hi james what's up um you're right i don't know you you, but this is a big 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 guess of why i think people really dislike you because you're arrogant as to think you can tell people to keep my name out of your mouth when you're a public figure and you literally make all your money solely on the fact that you are in drama all the time you are never humble you never apologize for you're a cocky little you're an idiot this is dumb you're old enough you're an adult Hear it. James, congratulations. You are the only person I know that I actually hate. That I actually think should get canceled. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. I've actually never come from someone I've never even met slash never had any problem with. But the fact that this dude thinks people should keep his name out of their mouth. You're a public figure. What? So. Twatty condescending bratty narcissistic self-centered you make your money dude because people talk about you and make fun of you or whatever whatever own it live in your seven million dollar house with it cool like really truly good for you but don't be a this sh like i don't even know you i've only come for people that like have personally come for me but like you're this how are you a human who raised you? And before I get all high and mighty on my own horse, I'm a petty b and this is about to get real petty real quick. So here comes drama Trish that everyone also hates, but guess what? I've been able to like own it, apologize, try to grow, try not to be such an arrogant ass. try to understand people's perception because guess what? You and me, James, we're the same. You ain't that cute either to have this attitude. Maybe Noah Beck can get away with this. Maybe Addison Rae can get, get away with this, but you can't. You can't. You are drama. That's your career. Like Addison and Noah Beck would never because they're cute. You and me, we ain't cute. So at least take some humble pie. At least pretend to learn to grow. At least take some sort of accountability, even a tenth, even a little bit. Take a note from Tana Mojo. A little bit goes a long way. Even if it's a fake apology, sit down, be humble. All right, y'all. So as you guys can see from right there, she is like really triggered over this. And to me, I'm just like, it's really not that deep. He literally just said, you don't know me, keep my name out of your mouth, which I do want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Trisha Paytas says, you know what? You're a public figure. You're obviously out there in the public. No, I don't need to keep my name out of your mouth. How do you guys feel about that? Because I do kind of agree with her on that, because at the end of the day, when you are putting yourself um, in front of the camera, in front of, you know, thousands, millions of people, then obviously you have to be a little bit open to people talking about you because you're putting yourself out there publicly publicly you know what i'm saying so let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on that also i just wanted to mention too she keeps on mentioning that he is so narcissistic what do you guys feel about that do you guys feel like james charles is because y'all we have heard this time and time again about james charles and i've actually said it before too a long time ago way before all of this shane dawson and trisha paytas had come out and saying oh you need to humble yourself i have always said i get the perception of him that he thinks that he's so high and mighty and everyone's beneath him that's just a perception i get from him and i always say maybe i could be wrong because i don't know him him but i want to know your guys thoughts and opinions on that so let me know down in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout